video, I'm going to share with you two important products that you're going to love when you create a full set. Now, first of all, it's the booster, Lush Booster, and the second one is the Super Bonder. So stay with me because I'm going to give you a few important things that you can definitely change everything in your lash sets. Hi, my name is Cosmina. I'm a certified lash artist and lash trainer. So in this video, I'm going to explain you the difference between Nano Mister and a Super Bonder. And also I want to introduce to you what is the Speed Booster. Now, I remember probably a couple of years ago, I would say more like a year ago when uh, everything started with Super Bonder and uh, also a booster. I was a little bit skeptical about this because I said, well, if I'm sure that I can just clean the lashes before and I prep everything like from zero, I know my retention is going to be amazing. But now, let me tell you something. I've been using those two products for over a year right now and I can tell you 100% the difference between my sets and the difference on my clients. Especially this is definitely my favorite thing ever. This is the Super Bonder and uh, you basically use this after you finish your set. Now I want you to understand one thing. Booster it's something that you going to work with before you start any type of sets, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two micro swaps. I'm going to put just a drop on the micro swap and then transfer on both and go very, very gentle. So the difference between a booster and a super curing, it's huge. Now, booster is used for you to uh, work right before you start any type of sets, right? So what I'm going to do on my clients is I'm just going to take a little bit of booster and touch the base of the extension right before any sets. Dry them, fan them for a couple seconds and then the curing and also the glue, it will work absolutely amazing. So let's just go back when you started to do lashes and you have your first class. You know that the glue works with temperature and humidity. And most of the time, the humidity is the most important. Why? Because our glue works with molecules of water. If we don't have water, if we don't have humidity in the air, the glue is not going to cure. It will take a while until the glue will dry. So let's say in the room right now, I have my humidity very, very low because it's winter outside and it's very dry, right? The glue, it will just play like this on the natural lash and, and then it will never dry. It will take seconds until the glue is curing. Now, this is why the booster came and saved your life. So you can just use a little drop and go very, very gentle on the base of the extension. And then when you pick your extension and you go in the glue and you apply on the natural lash, it bonds and it clicks right away not even three, four seconds and the glue is already dry. So that's the beauty with a booster. I've been using, like I said, I've been using this for, I would say over a year right now. And of course, before you start using the booster, you wanna make sure that your natural lashes are very clean. I explained this to all my students as well. You have to understand that there are steps and process when you start to do a full set. First of all, you want to make sure your lashes are very clean. Your natural lashes are very clean. Even uh, your client is the first time, even your client is a refill, you want to make sure that you going to clean the lashes right before. In this case, they are ready to go and then you're going to use the booster. Now, let's put the booster on the side and talk about super curing. This became one of my favorite things absolutely ever. Why? So this is usually after you finish your full set. So let's say you're about to finish. You're not going to dry the natural lashes like you usually do, like you normally do. You're going to use those micro swaps both of them 
use a little drop of the super bonder and go between the lashes one down one up and go very very gentle on the base where the glue works and touch every single lash with your super bonder now what is the super bonder for number one thing for super bonder is it will help you to speed your curing time now guys let's not be confused between curing time and drying time now drying time is when you pick the lashes from the glue you go and apply on the natural lash and you wait about two to three seconds it depends on the glue how quick is your glue it could be a second it could be three four seconds right and then you're going to apply the extension on the natural lash and then from there it will dry correct now curing time is different now let's go back when you first started right we always tell our clients do not wet your lashes for 24 hours why because the glue still works inside of the natural lashes right and that could take up to 24 hours now it's not the same case when you use super bonder super bonder is for you to make the curing time and the process of curing a little bit quicker than 20 24 hours now when i use my uh, super bonder right after any set you can just go and wet your lashes and do whatever you want right after the set you don't have to wait 24 hours second thing that i really love about super bonder is that your natural lashes and the glue is more flexible even when you sleep during the night or if you're some people they play with your lashes let's be honest now even when you brush you will see the difference between the natural lashes why because when you use super bonder it will give you that flexibility to move around with your brush and you can easily brush them and you can see sometimes you can even feel when you finish a full set they are a little harder they are rough right because they stay right there like harder now with super bonder they are more more flexible and i'm telling you i recommend this thing like 100 percent you can order this from our website you can go on uh, instagram and uh, hit the product you can just uh, order from there now i'm going to also put a link right below so you can see uh, all the products in case you need anything you can just feel free to click the link like i said two important things about super bonder number one you don't have to wait to wet your lashes because you will cure right away Second, it will give you that flexibility to move around and play with your lashes when you brush them. And the third thing that I really like about this is your client is not going to experience that burnness that you know the fumes from the glue and anything like that because it will cure right the way. Now, sometimes you know and I experience this even on myself. When you go home and you take a shower or you just you know work with water around the eyes for like just a little bit you can feel that burn burniness like your eyes are literally burning now when you use the super bonder you're not gonna experience that anymore now another thing that i want to mention and uh, i had a couple questions about this on my lash group some people say cosmina but if we do use the pre bonder can we still use the uh, nano mister now basically nano mister is for you to give your natural lashes a little bit more humidity a little bit more uh, water in the air because the glue didn't work perfect right this is why we use nano mister now for me what i've realized on my clients and what i've experienced on my own i do not like to work with both with super bonder and also nano mister in the same time why i'm going to apply super bonder and then i'm going to nano mist the natural lashes it will give you that shock and instant curing and sometimes it can be very very hard on your eyes you can even feel when you open when you blink when you open your eyes you can even feel how hard your natural lashes are feeling okay so i hope this video it was helpful i'm going to put a click right here so you can just uh, click the link below for uh, more products and do not forget to subscribe to my channel where i'm going to post a lot of information and also don't go anywhere because I'm going to play a video right on the corner where you can find more about the retention.